Sup guys, Watercool Fool. As you guys know, I'm a computer geek, I'm an electronics geek, anything I can do, modify, make it run better, etc. That's what I'll do. And today I'm going to be talking about my Amazon Kindle Fire 8.9 HD. I got this a couple years back and I modified it to put the full Android operating system on. It has some complications, I actually bricked it, but the guys over at XDA, one of them actually had a restore firmware where it brought it up to stock and then I could redo the process again as far as flashing it to the correct operating system that I wanted and everything like that. Well, the guys over at XDA Forms have actually came out with another operating system. As you guys know, Android Lollipop is all the craze now and everybody's trying to get it. I know for me, I'm waiting for my Sprint LG G3 to finally get Lollipop. They've been saying, oh, it's going to be released so and so, but haven't gotten it yet. However, I was able to put that on my Amazon Kindle Fire. So we're going to go ahead and go through a little brief overview, excuse me, overview of the <clears throat> Amazon Kindle Fire HD 8.9 with Lollipop installed. It was a fairly simple process. If you guys already don't know, um, go to the XDA forums. You're going to have to download a second bootloader and a couple other things as well. I know one main thing you're going to need is the TWRP or TWRP, which is more or less like going into a BIOS of your computer and you can install certain things. That's what I would kind of compare it to. Probably not the same thing, but just for comparison, like I said before. So let's go ahead and check out the Android Lollipop on my Amazon Kindle. Just as an FYI, this is still in beta, so this isn't really meant to be in a day-to-day, um, -day, you know, using it and everything like that. It's not really meant for that. Um, basically the reason why I downloaded it was to help hash code over XDA forms to report any bugs that I get. So that's why I got it. So let's go ahead and check it out. Hopefully this will be an easy process and light glare won't be too bad on it. Hopefully. And let me go ahead and try to zoom it up the best I can. So all right. Let me go ahead and turn this baby on real quick. I'm not going to show you the boot screen. If you guys don't know, uh, Cyan Jamod, excuse me, Cyan Jamod uh, basically has like his logo or their logo, and they're able to do that. And it turns off fairly quickly, so I don't know why, but I'm just trying to get it into like that perfect shot, and hopefully it'll pick up once I. Uh, zoom in a little bit alright so here it is right here like I said before let me go ahead and turn this on again I didn't realize I had a short count time but first bug it says that it's charging when it's not so I really don't care because it still has the accurate battery reader and it shuts off within five seconds so that's a setting I'm definitely gonna have to change because that's kind of an annoying but here it is right here assume the camera works and everything like that so it does so there's me camera works perfectly fine on here again this isn't the most uh, you know elaborate camera it is on a Kindle Fire and uh, let me go home like so so this is back right here instead of the little arrow you know cr curled back this is back this right here is uh, your home button instead and then if you hold down the home yeah you hold down the home it brings up Google which is pretty nice if you go over on the right hand side it looks like a stop sign if you hold that it brings you to all the applications that you do have opened on this operating system which is pretty cool um, there are some glitches I would say Amazon mp3 players aren't working correctly in some songs however it works completely fine on my phone so that's one thing I have noted that it's not you know there are going to be some glitches and everything like that I get an error code of 181 and I'm not sure what that is um, to internet browsers no long I don't know if it said internet or browser on KitKat but the internet browser is now green and it has a globe on it so if you go here 
and of course I got the XDA forms on my tablet and everything like that so yeah it's fairly smooth sharp very very snappy even though this is a beta so we go ahead and hit here pretty much all the applications here that are installed except for four are pretty much what you get the only thing you're not going to get of course is going to be Netgear, Amazon, Music your Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and of course Flash Player even though Amazon you know their website oh, I can't even play music via the website on here because it's not the current version of the Flash Player okay we're gonna go to settings this is something that you're gonna have to do if you do decide to flash your Amazon Kindle Fire what you're gonna have to do is scroll all the way down and you're going to have to click about tablet at the very bottom and then from there let me uh, see if I can I'm still in the shot cool and then from there excuse me you're going to have to do what I call the developer options uh, selection what you do is you go about phone or pretty much any Android device that's out there some manufacturers have locked down developer options so what you're going to have to do is basically scroll down it's going to have the same kind of deal here status legal information model name blah 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 but you're going to go down to your build number on your phone and you're going to hit that one two three four five of course there's no no need I'm already have you know the developer option selected so I'm able to do that fairly quickly so what you're going to have to do here once you do that you're going to get developer options right under your super user right here it's going to look like uh, I don't know what you want to call those symbols to be completely honest but it's going to look like that so you're going to select options right here and then from those options you're going to go uh, to let me find it and see if it's in the camera you're going to click on root access and let me zoom out a little bit more so if you click on root access right here you can select it to be disabled apps only ADB only apps and ADB so that's what I have selected here on my device itself it does recognize they said they have some USB mounting issues but so far when I mounted it to my PC as a hard drive device I can drag and drop files with no problems which is awesome so we can go ahead and go back here um, as again it's fairly snappy you know just messing around with it um, you can scroll down like that it gives you the date time etc as you guys know on a previous build so if you again if you scroll over you can get more options of your uh, Wi-Fi yeah Bluetooth your auto rotate location and all that right here um, if you go over here you can do owner, you can add a guest and everything, but that's kind of not recommended right now for, you know, beta stage uh, lollipop for this device, so I wouldn't recommend it. And I'll go ahead and show you, um, let's see, what else can I show you? Okay, I showed you that, a couple different things, okay, now, um, I'm going to show you how to get into Torque with this device. So let me go ahead and back it out. So what you're going to do is, if you do install it, it's pretty easy. So what you're going to do, of course, is going to hit Reboot. It's going to take, you know, a couple of seconds to reboot, but it gives you a notification setting. You can go ahead and select OK. Okay, so it's rebooting while it's rebooting you're going to hold the volume up button which is furthest away from the power button so you see this little I don't know what you want to call it right here it's kind of messed up that's completely normal and everything like that but it will boot up until this right here team win and this is all of your settings right here the newest version if I bring it up is going to be version 2 uh, <clears throat> two decimal eight decimal three decimal zero or you can say point or whatever because I know I'm probably gonna get corrected on that but you in here you can go ahead and hit mount you can use USB storage you can drag and drop your files there if you don't want to download the application files onto your 
tablet go ahead and select back you can go to wipe and this is suggested anytime you do a new um, Android operating system is factory reset just drag and swipe that over like that see so does this but I'm not going to do it go ahead and do that you're good to go you could format your data you also can go into advanced wipe if you want and you have a uh, Dalvik cache uh, data internal setting or internal storage cache system and all this so this kind of pretty much wipes everything uh, of the operating system out alright so if you want to for example so we're gonna go ahead and click home if you want to install something which is pretty easy all you're gonna to have to do is click install and then from here you're gonna get a selection of folders within your Amazon you know folder that's on your internal storage your internal storage won't get erased or via the SD card or whatever so what I do here I just scroll down and I find download or that's my DCM I don't want that install so if this happens just go up a level and then you're gonna go ahead and click download and then these are the only two files that I have located on here which is the Sino Gemod you know lollipops app as well as the Google app uh, for lollipop as well so that's pretty much what you do and then after that you're gonna go ahead and click reboot you're gonna click system and after you click that it's gonna go ahead and boot up like so so that's how you're gonna tell that it's been rooted or if someone's rooted their Kindle is if it has a blue Kindle Fire HD that is a notification pretty much telling you hey this guy rooted his Kindle Fire may take a couple of seconds to boot up and everything like that just because you know this is an older device and this is what the Cyan Jamad looks like when it is booting up takes a couple of seconds again this isn't the fastest hardware on this tablet whatsoever but hey it's fairly cheap and you know you're unlocking a two hundred dollar tablet until like a three to four hundred dollar tablet that's out there today so that's another reason why I bought this tablet and there you go boot it up right there I guess you could time it from the time you saw the logo or whatever so you can go ahead and unlock it again and then you're good to go so let me go ahead and make sure back out flip the camera over so that's it guys I hope this video helps you out in some way maybe spark your interest into doing some OS I guess you want to call it installing of a lollipop on certain devices such as Android. Uh, guys at XDA Forum support a lot of devices like I said before and again you are taking a risk you may brick it and all that stuff this is beta firmware so if this bricks it's my fault completely so again if you do this you're using it at your, as your own risk and you're taking all the responsibilities that come along with it Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it if you have reached the end of this video. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button, and you guys have a great day now. Bye.